WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, I have most of the U.S. indices trading the upside. The one that's not is the New York Stock Exchange, basically flat down 11 points. You got the Dow up 35, one tenth percent, half a percent for the S&P, 21 points, one percent for the Nasdaq, 145 points, three tenths for the Russell, five points to the upside. Semis are up two and three tenths percent. That's a 73 point move. You've got gold off 27 dollars, silver's down 22 cents, lights we crude off 53 pennies natural gas on a tear it's up 14 cents but today will now confirm a td9 count top says we should see a short-term top between today and tomorrow 30-year treasury down nearly one point trade out at 127.29 let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini uh, we did talk about how it was above the center of its bullish structure profile and odds favor when we see that pattern Price is going to make its way up to the top of the profile. So where should the ES Mini go target? Well, the number is 4206.25 to be exact. If we take a look at the uh, the spot volatility, we're trading below yesterday's low. So that's a very likely outcome because that's bearish for the spot volatility. That is bullish for the ES Mini. The NQ, its price target is 14375 Now, today will complete a TD9 count top. I have no idea what today's high will be. If we get a close above today's high, that pattern gets it's negated and tells us about a strong move to the upside, just like we have a strong move to the upside inside the U.S. dollar index. U.S. dollar index, I believe, will complete a TD9 count top tomorrow or Friday. Uh, it is completing its measured move breakout. So targeting the price area of about um, the 104-ish, 103, 80, 90, somewhere right around there. You've got gold that is busting through its consolidation. Potentially, it too will form a TD9 count bottom. We're going to have to take a look at the charts because I've got my days off on that. We might be a couple days away from uh, that. Silver, I think we might have that one today or tomorrow. I'm talking about the TD9 count patterns. Lights recruit, it's back. It regained its daily profile yesterday. So that's actually a short-term positive out here. And natural gas, you can see it is trading above the top of that daily profile, giving you and I a signal of its intent to get a change in trend. But today will become bar number nine of a TD9 count. Look, it just says we could stall or move sideways or worse. Get back below the top of that daily profile, which is at uh, 242, and suggest that it was a false breakout to the upside. Say, folks, uh, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.